Welcome folks, I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Nicole Soper. We're gonna look at an Honest trailer for Justice League. This is Nicole's very first Honest trailer that she's ever seen before in her life, and her first reaction to an Honest trailer, so this should be really, really fun. Uh, thank you in advance to Screen Junkies for allowing us to react to this series. I love all your stuff, so looking forward to this one. I like Justice League a lot. You said you liked it all right. Yeah. You liked it more than you thought you yeah, would. Yeah, more okay. than I thought I would, I, so. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was about three times, so here we go. Somewhere between the awful Suicide Squad and the excellent Wonder Woman, a new DC movie will get it sorted down the middle. But when the best comic book characters ever unite for a film that's just okay, you blew it! Again! Ah, how does this keep happening? Justice League. In the midst of a production beset by tragedy, Warner Brothers bravely forged ahead so executives could keep their bonuses, <laughs> mixing wow. Zack Snyder's trademark gloom with the optimism of Josh right. Whedon and the priorities of Brett Ratner's production <laughs> company. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. That's that results bad. in its own signature blend of orange, lots and lots of orange. Man, I wish they released the Snyder Cut. Also, man, I wish the Snyder Cut wasn't a made-up fanboy pipe dream. Witness a film that looks like it's being rendered right before your eyes, where this CGI villain steals the CGI boxes from their CGI hiding places, uniting the CGI heroes in a big CGI fight on a CGI battlefield until the CGI hero merges with the CGI box while the CGI villain gets punched in the mouth by the hero with a mouth made out of CGI. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That just looks wrong. Meet the Justice League, a bunch of sad losers. I want to be left alone. If you stay up here brooding and processing, oh, I wouldn't count on the tribes of men. I need friends. Who occasionally make jokes now. Dostoevsky! There's Wonder Woman, <laughs> the three-dimensional hero turned into girl hung up on her ex. I lost someone I loved. I once knew a man who would have loved to fly it. When it's your fault, they're all Steve Trevor. Brosidon, king of the Brosian. My man! Cyborg. Who's there? <laughs> Spider Man, who in this movie goes by the Flash. <laughs> Superman, and. God, my mouth is so distracting. Poor Henry Cavill worked out for months for this role, but all I can look at is his weird fake baby mouth. They really couldn't just shave his mustache, or grow a beard, or, you know, delay the movie? <laughs> and of course, the Batman. <laughs> he may not be that tough. <sighs> Uh, or that smart. See so your genius move. It's dying. Or that careful with his secret identity. Dressed like a bat. You're out of your mind, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. You're the Batman. That's a bat signal. That's your. Oh shit! Sorry. That's your signal. But <laughs> wait, there's no bud. That's a shame. He was the best part of the last one. Prepare for the arrival of Steppenwolf, DC's scariest horn-helmeted minor god villain with a giant bladed weapon since the movie right before this one. He's got a generic look, a generic motivation. He lived only to conquer. And super generic dialogue. Find the last one. Its power will cleanse this world. You're all too weak to see the truth. I am the end of worlds. But no character since Buster Blue has ever been this much of a mother lover. Mother, I know, mother. Praise to the mother. I see, mother. What the hell is that? These are my words, mother. From Army. How is it possible they ripped off everything from the Avengers except the good villain? Come on, Joss. It's not stealing if you do it from yourself. After all the intricate plotting of Batman v Superman, check out a sequel that says, whoops, never mind, pretending Batman knew Clark Kent for more than 15 minutes. I'm a teammate's Clark. Pretending the world didn't hate Superman before he died. So much bitterness. Of course I think it's all because he's gone. And pretending that bizarre Flash Nightmare sequence never happened. Yourself. You have to find us! I mean, that was clearly meant for when this movie was gonna be a two-parter, right? So where the Avengers felt like the end of the beginning for the MCU, experience DC's big team-up movie that just kind of feels like the end, where they emptied out their Easter egg cupboard, united all their biggest superheroes, and tried everything they could to make it look like they still cared. You know you can't do this forever. I can barely do it now. It's a shame, too. They were just starting to take some real steps toward heroism. Save one. What? Save one person. 
Okay, baby steps. <laughs> Starring a wad of tinfoil scrunched around a laser pointer. What? Jason Moana. <laughs> Jason Moana. Dark Night Owl. The DCEU Hunger Games champion. Nice. Super Side Eye. The voice of Warner Brothers. We might not have thought this through. Oh, Deadpool. wow. I mean, Deadstro. Uh, Deadstro. Smashed Mouth. Sm <laughs> spider Car, Spider Car, does whatever a Spider Car does. Oh, Miles Dyson, when will you learn? Yeah. Mike oh, Pence. No. I know, Mother. Speeder Parker. Speeder. And they recast Luther? Hey! Care for a glass of Goudet de Mont? Aww. And not starring. <laughs> trailer shots and scenes that weren't in the final movie. Aquaman consumed by water. Cyborg as a human in a letterman jacket. The I didn't think you were real scene. Didn't think you were real. I'm real and it's useful. Cyborg fighting a tank and talking to a cop. You should probably move. Flash fighting a parademon. Cyborg as a human playing football. The original blue color palette end sequence. Bruce looking at holographic Superman. Barry breaking glass. Alfred talking to a mysterious visitor. You said you've come. And Lois and Clark discussing their engagement. I'll take that as a yes. What? Warner Brothers presents Joss Whedon, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Part One of One. <laughs> that was the... so. Uh, why does oh. everyone in this movie have super smelling? Fear. I can smell it. The demons must have caught the scent of another box. The scent is on you. You could smell a story. You recognize that smell? You smell good. <laughs> Did I not before? That was oh, a pretty gosh. thorough video. Uh, that, uh, that was like a lot in my face. It was also longer than your average honest trailers. Usually they're like four and a half, five minutes. This one's six minutes and 15 seconds. He said a lot of things. Yeah. And while he might be right, or screen jockeys might be right on a lot of those things, I still really enjoyed the movie. I had a lot of fun with it. I went into it knowing that there was a lot of, you know, production situation yeah. stuff, drama going on, new visions coming into play that altered the course of the film. And it's impossible to know what Zack Snyder's version would have been if he stayed on and saw that through to completion. I thought there was some fun moments still. And uh, while it would have been nice to have a two-part thing like they originally intended, what we got, like while it wasn't perfect, you know, it was still fun. Like I yeah. still enjoyed it. I did too. I had lower expectations for it. But when I went to see it, it was still a lot of fun to see. It's fun yeah. to see all the DC characters come together. Aquaman was really great. I love Jason Momoa, or Jason Moana. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Superman thing with the beard, it was a little distracting. I remember reading that he had to keep the beard for, I think it was Mission Impossible or one yeah. of the other movies he was filming. But, but it was still fun to watch. I really liked it. Now here's a question for you. Do you think you would have been as distracted by, the must by Mustache Gate? <laughs> if you didn't know about it in advance? Probably not. I feel like you're focusing more on other things rather than just his like beard, like this area. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on around the movie. So if I didn't read about it before, then I probably wouldn't have focused on it as much. Yeah. Well, it's almost like you're looking for it, yeah, right? Yeah, you are. Yeah, and then you're definitely. like, oh, that looks so weird. You're like, yeah, I see it. <laughs> they, they made it so super public, this, the whole thing with how much money they spent on it. And I'm like, well, now we're all gonna look for it. Yeah. And now it looks weird. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to believe this. I think there's a lot of people out there who, who didn't pay attention to that information and watched the movie and didn't notice the mustache thing. I went to the premiere of Justice League and I got to meet Henry Cavill and he had the mustache and I'm like, oh my God, this is like bringing your girlfriend to your ex-girlfriend's birthday party. Oh, like, no. <laughs> it's just like, dude. Where'd uh, that come from? <laughs> yeah, but he, uh, he he maintained it for a long time. He had to maintain it because Tom Cruise broke his ankle or something. Oh, right, yeah. when he was filming. I yeah, that, for yeah. MI6. Screen Junkies is, is has made a lot of good points in this video. I, it's hard to disagree with some of them on an intellectual level, but emotionally, I just had a lot of fun watching the movies. And watching you guys, uh, please be sure to follow Nicole Soper on the social media. She's also got a YouTube channel with a few videos you guys can check out there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Nicole Soper. Peace out.